Well, in this video, we're going to paint with wine. Got a little bottle of red wine here from California, Merlot wine. And I've done this already, so I'm going to show you the end result, and then we'll, we'll watch how I did it together. But there it is. Eh, sort of, sort of okay. Sort of okay. And I did cheat. I'll tell you up front. I used a little bit of gouache. Only for the snow. Alright, let me show you how I did that. How I did that. Okay, so we are going to try to do a Christmas card. Paint a Christmas card. And we're going to use this wine. Woodbridge Merlot California wine. Red wine. So I don't need that much. I'm going to put a little bit in this cup here. And I've, I've already experimented with it a little bit. It's just need a little bit, a little bit more than that maybe. And then um, what I discovered in my experiment, let me show you. So I did a quick experiment and here's the experiment. So, so this Christmas tree is painted with wine and I noticed that it dries very like a light um, it's like a faded uh, violet or a faded purple so that gave me an idea because I'm assuming this is an experiment now I'm assuming if I put a second layer it'll be darker so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this brush this this brush here and I'm going to dip it into the wine and I'm going to paint this card so that there's a lot of white areas that show through. My intent is for those white areas to be snowflakes. See, they'll just be little areas that don't get, don't get colored with the wine and, and they're probably bigger than snowflakes should be. But it's an illustration, and I think it, it'll be fun. And I don't really know how far the uh, wine will spread. Like when you do watercolor you know, on wet, wet on wet, it spreads pretty far. That's why I'm using wet on dry, dry paper. And I'm going to try to speed up the drying process with a, a, a blow dryer. That's my phone dinging me for something but anyway um just gonna keep doing this until i have it all covered with what looks like <laughs> little circles um like cheerios little, little wine flavored cheerios and the idea is that this is going to be the, all these white dots that are left that don't have paint on them will be the snowflakes so i'm basically doing a, an under painting here with with wine Smells pretty good, Robin. Good. The wine. So it's the first time I've ever done this well, except for the experiment that I just showed you. So I haven't done this before. And I, I know what's going to happen. It's going to start to spread. So maybe I don't need to dip it in so much. Maybe I can just spread what I have already. Just trying to make... And we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I'm trying to make a... I think the, the picture itself will be simple, like a little landscape with uh, Christmas trees. A Christmas tree. Maybe more than one. We'll see. I'm just trying to create... I, I did... I don't know if you saw the video I did with coffee. Coffee um, is water, and wine is alcohol. So I'm hoping because it's alcohol it'll dry quicker than the water the water seemed like it took a long time it looks like it's already starting to dry over there so i think this might be a good fun way to have a painting definitely can smell the wine i wonder 
if you'll be able to smell the wine after it dries on the card. So we'll see. And um, so I'll just keep doing until I fill the whole thing. Sorry for knocking the camera there. <laughs> it's, it doesn't look like snow yet, but hopefully it will when I'm done. You know what I should do? I should probably plan on not doing the whole picture because I want this bottom part to be a little bit of a snow drift. So I'll just keep the, I won't do the whole card like this. The idea is to get this lots of circles so that we have lots of snowflakes. Each circle is a snowflake. Pretty, pretty easy idea, I guess. What the, what I'm really not sure of is will a second layer prove to be darker than one layer? I mean, that's how it is with paint, right? Well, with watercolor, anyway. Not necessarily with gouache or acrylic. <laughs> Some pretty big snowflakes. That's okay. We can always make them smaller, but you can't make them bigger. Once you, once you cover up the white, you're kind of stuck with whatever you got. So you gotta leave the white there. I might, if if I mess it up too bad, I think I'm gonna allow myself to not make it pure wine. If I need to use some gouache, I might. I'm not gonna say I won't, because I want the picture to look good ultimately. So then it'll be like 80% wine instead of 100%. But we'll see when we get there. And I, and I think it dries uh, light enough in, in color that it could probably pass for white. You know how when you're painting snow, you can use violet, you can use um, light blue and it does appear to be white. In fact, it's a better it's a better choice for snow instead of white. Just use white like very sparingly when you're doing snow. Yeah, it's working, I guess. Not the snowflakes. They're all snowflakes. doesn't take much wine. You can really spread it around thin. In fact, that's kind of the idea is to do a thin. There are some areas that are pooling, so those are going to be darker. Unless I spread them out, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. I mean, wine stains things so well. It's often a problem for people when they spill wine, right? on their clothing and stuff. But in this case, we are welcoming the staining of wine. We want it to stain. Let me spread this around a little bit. There's our, all of our little dots. Make some of them smaller. And, um, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and let it dry, and then I'll be back. 
Okay, let's continue. Let's see what we need to do. I think I'm going to use the smaller brush here. Now that I've, all those snowflakes are dry, and I'm going to paint a tree. Let's see where the fold is in the card. The fold is right there. So I'll bring the tree right there. And just start painting what will be a tree. Just go back and forth. It's going to be a very stylized tree. It's not going to be a photographic looking tree. <laughs> at all. Let's get that wine on there. The wine is our stain. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I looked at the monitor just a second there. I'll just keep doing like this. And I'm purposely trying to leave some blank spaces between the um, the branches so that maybe we can create some snow effect on here. So, painting with wine. I think somebody had suggested I paint with um, hot chocolate. And I guess I could do that. I, I, the problem, I guess, would be the sugar. But it wouldn't be a problem unless maybe ants started eating the card. I don't know. <laughs> this would be a problem. Okay. It's funny how the the, um, the wine looks red when you put it down, but when it dries, it's more of a, a violet color. Okay, there's our tree. I'm gonna do a little bit of what I hope will look like a snowdrift coming down. Maybe I'll paint between these snowflakes to make it a little bit darker in the background. A little bit like a second layer. I'm not sure this is going to work. We'll find out together. I'm going to learn if painting with wine <laughs> is a good thing. Or should we just stick with store-bought paints? I, I'm guessing that I'm not the first to try this, but I've never seen anybody do this before. But I doubt that I'm the first. Here we go. Let me separate some of these large dots, make them smaller. Bless you. Thank you. Okay. okay, let's let that dry. And I'll turn off the camera and come back when it's dry. Alright, it's dry. And I'm going to add another layer to the tree. Because the tree needs to be... Um, needs to have more contrast to the background than it has right now. So I'm just going to put lots of dots. The dots seem to dry darker than the pieces that are spread out. Just keep adding dots. That's 
some more contrasting already. I hope it dries that way. I'm basically just dabbing it on there. Whoops. Spilled it. Spilled the drop of wine. Fortunately, it landed right in the right spot. some a little bit of first layer here to create some of that illusion of shadows in the snow just keep it real thin that thin just keep the the white of the card showing through for the snow and the thin layer of wine will hopefully give us a try to create a little bit of a background there Yeah, wine dries a lot quicker than water. Okay, let me turn the camera off. I'll come back when it's dry. All right, let's do another layer. I like how it's, it's looking right in there in some of those th areas that are really thick it leaves an outline and that's kind of a cool look so i just keep adding and try to recreate that it's kind of one of those happy accidents that bob ross made so famous i love that i love the expression happy accidents because <laughs> it's a there is no better way to explain how some things happen in, in art you know that's why it's called art, it's not a science. But there, there's the science of art, and the art of science, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna dab it on there, try to create the tree to look as dark as I possibly can. And I think some of the parts of the tree that have a, like a, only one layer of wine and other parts will have several layers and that'll help add to the the contrast of the trees of the tree limbs i mean When the grapes were growing and the vine, the grapes didn't know that one day their juice would be used for a painting. It's kind of an interesting way of looking at it, right? And great grapes didn't know. It's like when you eat an apple. That apple grew on a tree just for you. The whole time it was growing. You didn't know it was there. The farmer didn't know you were there. The apple certainly didn't know that you were the one it was growing for. I think God probably knew that though. There. And it creates some, a little bit of variation in how 
Some areas are darker than others. different areas of the sky, maybe. Again, I'm going to wait for it to dry and I'll be right back. Okay, it's not completely dry, but it's pretty, pretty close. I think I can continue. Just going to keep adding layers and layers on here. And you see, I really have hardly used any of the, uh, the wine I poured into the, to the cup. So if you're worried about me wasting wine, it really didn't take that much. Some of you might have been saying that to yourself. Why is he wasting that good Merlot wine from California? <laughs> Look, if I, if I put dots like this, it almost looks like ornaments. Oh, no, I didn't expect that to happen. I think I like that. Like red, red ornaments. All right, let them dry like that for a few more. Yeah, let them dry like that, and then we'll see what it looks like. Let me put a few more areas down here just to double it up a little bit. Some of the areas um, are a little bit yellow. That's because I'm using, when I have the camera turned off, I'm using a, a hot air dryer, like a hair dryer, but it's it's not a hair dryer. It's for like crafts. And it's, I think I got the paper a little bit too hot. <laughs> so <laughs> probably would have burned up if I didn't pull it away. Okay, let's get some of these. Snowflakes, let's cut them down to size a little bit. I think we can do that. Now that they're dry, it's a little bit easier to see. Because you know the, if you had a light on and you were looking at snow falling, the snowflakes closer to the light would be brighter. The ones farther away would be dim or dimmer, whatever. So that's kind of what I'm trying to accomplish here is to make some of them brighter by not touching them and others just to give a layer of wine on top of it. All right, let's let that dry. Let me show you what I'm using. I'm using this dryer. It's called Pro Heater Heat Tool. And it uh, looks like a crayon, doesn't it? But it's a dryer. I'm going to put it on. The reason I'm not doing it with the camera on is because it makes noise. Watch. See? So I'm going to do that with the camera off, and I'll be back after I finish drying it. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to assess it now. Let's take, I'm going to take the, the slightly bigger brush, this brush, and I'm just going to push some around. I think I'll put some more dots on the tree itself, just to give some more very dark areas. 
the more I have on there, the darker it gets. So I want to make a kind of a really cool dark tree. Okay, let's let it dry, and we'll check it again. Okay, this is where we find out if it's a mistake to add paint to it or not. Hmm, not sure what I want to do. But I think I'm going to try to add a little bit of gouache to it. So I have some dried gouache. I think I can reactivate it with water. I wonder if I can reactivate it with wine. Oh, I can. So maybe I could just kind of cheat and say it's half wine. Just add a little bit of like snow to the branches. And I'm not che cheating. See, I was going to use water. There's my water. But I think what I'll use to activate the dried gouache is... Oops, sorry for the knock on the camera. I think I'm going to use the wine as my my uh, thinner. Yes, that way it's sort of kind of still wine, right? It's still got wine in it. There's even wine in the in the gouache. Okay. Now I'm not so disappointed because I was really hoping I could do a, a whole painting with nothing but wine, but I'm not completely happy with it. So. And you, and you want to know something? It takes that white and it makes it slightly purple, which is good. That's what I want. Okay, so, and it's not so stark white, you know? It's just, just enough. Just enough to look like snow on the branches. I don't really need to dip it much. The wine activates the um, the dried gouache really nicely. Here we go. It's, 
make it look like it's got some snow hanging onto those branches and we can say it's painted with wine because the wine is the activating element of the gouache I guess in a sense water is what wine is mostly made out of right I guess I don't know it has to be I mean I don't know of course I do know that why would I say I don't know I do know okay Right, because the water comes up from the ground, goes into the grapes. Yeah, it's looking, looking kind of nice. Yeah, the wine does a good job of activating that that white paint. some dots of white to make it a little more like snow some snowflakes falling in front of the tree it wants to fade into the purple too It smells like wine too. The whole thing smells like wine. The whole room smells like wine right now. Let me take a picture of it. See if we like it enough to get a picture of it. <laughs> Looks like a Christmas card. See, that's the whole idea. like I want that but if I if I make it more white then I'm not going to be purely I can't say it's all wine I want to be able to say it's all wine even though there's gouache on there I don't know I'm a little bit torn here let's see what it looks like when I fold it over is it dry 
dry. There. There we go. Christmas card painted with wine. Merlot. Painted with Merlot. <laughs> All right, see you later.